Cool, so um, let's do a little bit of a recap. So we've set the key, okay. and you could set this ahead of time and save it to the preset, which is kind of cool. So if you knew what the key was in advance, you go, oh, okay, cool, like the song's in F, and I want this preset to always be in F, then you just store it to the preset. And that's something we haven't talked about yet, is actually how to store these. Right. So like you've made a bunch of changes, you know, what the heck do you do now? Mm -hmm. So you hit the store button twice, and it'll save the preset. What you're gonna hear, see here is that I've already changed the name a little bit, you know, with uh, camera tricks. But um, the first time you press store, it actually allows you to change the letters that are part of the song here, right? Oh, so, we so you can, can title it something exactly. new. Exactly. So if I have the name of a song, my own original tune, totally. and I want to go in and make all these changes, when I save it, I can save it as just a dream or SRH or whatever my tune Exactly, is. yeah. And so that's when, when you hit store the first time, that's why it's flashing here, because it's telling you you got to do something else. So I can even do that if I went into the Rolling in the Deep um, preset and then wanted to add a couple extra things to it yep. and save it for one of the songs that I would do originally. Totally. And then that Rolling in the Deep is still in there in the genres. Exactly. But I can go have my own personal one titled my song and have that ready for a show. Yeah, so what would happen is that is that after you titled it your own song, you might want to save it somewhere else. Okay. So another cool feature here is that if you push the button here and you get control of the letters, right? So then I'm, you know, I've changed it into Fallen Deep now. If you push the button here, you get control of where it stores to. So if you oh. said, "Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to go over this this rolling in the deep preset. I want to put this like in preset number one, okay. and I want to call it Fallen Deep, and I'm going to put put it preset number one." You can then go all the way through, and you see all the numbers are changing. It's actually going through, and now we're on preset one, and it's saying store to one. When I hit store again, now it's put it actually as preset one oh. in the box. So it allows you to like keep the ones that you like if, if it's a, a factory preset and you want to maintain it and then manipulate however you want and put it wherever you want to go. Sweet. The factory presets can never be completely deleted. You can use voice support, the, the application that you hook up to your computer. So I can't accidentally go in and totally mess up the whole rolling in the deep. No, like you could, you could always get like, it back. Where and, did it go? Exactly. And right. there, there's instructions on, on uh, the Helicon website about like there's a manual for how to use voice support and we won't go totally into right. you know the ins and outs of that. But it's, it's pretty straightforward and you can move presets around and save them. So you could um, set up uh, um, set lists ahead of time. So if you had like four gigs this month and I want to have you know these 20 songs this night and these 20 songs the next night, you could actually drag them around with invoice support and then before you go to the gig, fire them into the box and they're all in that order. Nice, and then I've yeah. got my whole set list right there totally. in the box. Totally, yeah, and you kind of- Scrambling at soundcheck to like write it up. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> and, and you kind of reduce the complexity of using the thing in the gig to pushing the up button to get to the next preset that's yours and using the hit button to add the effects whenever you want to. Oh. So they'll all, all have their effects inside of them, and this will always activate which ones I want to activate at different times in the song. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. So when you've got it set, I had it set in the genre there still, and that's why it kind of bounced around. But now you've got your Fallen Deep is number one, and then it's got number two and number three, and you, you just use the foot switches to go through. So oh, it's pretty straightforward. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Totally. So let's talk a little bit real quick about some of the other effects that are in here because we kind of you know jump right to harmony and the delay and the reverb and stuff. Right. Um, some other things you might want to add in. We've got doubling. Nice. So in this particular one, there is a, a double turned on, and the level's pretty high, so you might be able to hear it in this particular preset. Mm. There's a fire. This is apparently the song of choice today. Yeah. <laughs> you, hey, you can sing anything else. Like, I'm gonna turn the delay off know. here. Let's see. Hear yeah, that train to come in. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hello. Right. So there's the doubling. Sometimes you have to turn the doubling up quite a bit, sort of, sort of get it really obvious, right. and then you kind of just push it back a little right. bit. Um, mm -hmm. That could be of, like if in a chorus I want it to be a bit beefier. I yeah, think. or even all the time. Like um, it's it's quite common to have a little bit of doubling just subtly underneath your voice to kind of thicken it up. Oh. And what happens is that the voices that get created off of the double they kind of aren't perfect all the time. So they they sort of the timing is a little bit different and the the pitch that they use is a little different. And so it sounds like other people rather than just sounding oh. like sort of perfect clones of you. Cool. And there's a couple different settings. So there's um, like the different styles are, are tight, which means real close to you. So there's not, not there's a lot of play. There's a fire right. starting in my heart. And so that's one voice. And then you can go to two voices, or sorry, you can go one voice tight. You can go to a loose voice, which is like the time. There's a, a fire. Right. Starting in my heart. Oh, I went a little loud on that. Yeah, a little loud on that one. That's okay. <laughs> that's that's a good good you know thing to, to be watching your, right. your level there. Um, we can get to two voices tight and loose, and then there's like all sorts of different ones. Yeah. And here's octaves. Oh, hello. Right, so octave type stuff. There's an octave all the way down. <laughs> So what, what some people do is they say would do an octave up and they'd actually use the level control to turn it quite low. Hey, yeah. And just oh, and just bring it in there. No. So it sort of supports your voice a little bit. No. And it's really subtle, but it really helps to make you sound awesome. Sweet. So delay, or the uh, doubling here is, is pretty straightforward. You know, only a couple of controls. Same deal with the on, off, and hit, and then right. the styles. 
Um, hard tune, so that's uh, you probably already know what this one is. Getting all tea pain. <laughs> up and Getting up. all that tea guy. Yeah. Um, hello, hello. Hey, oh, I'm a robot. There you Who go. are you? Yeah. <laughs> so we've got actually a couple of different styles in here, and and you can um, you can go through them. We've got the pop one, which is the, we call that hard tune. So it's the most obvious, you know, kind of stepped you are version getting of that the effect. Tune yeah. Out of control. I mean, in control. <laughs> obvious. Obvious, yeah. yeah. Country Gliss is kind of an interesting oh, one because we found that if you listen to like a, a Rascal Flats tune or something like that, they ha sort of, it's like the hard tune kind of happens at the beginning, but then it doesn't robot out the rest of it and make it super perfect afterwards. It kind of jumps onto the note and then just like, you can move around within it. So it sounds a little bit different. You can try that one out a little. Hey, hey. So it's not no, quite as no, obvious. No, 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 I, I. Right, okay. And then there's Robot. Hello, hi, I am a robot. So it doesn't actually let you change notes at all. It just gives you a note and that's it. <laughs> it, oh, just, cool. like, it just kind of barely moves around a it's little bit. It's like totally on the same note. <laughs> And then natural correction is we try and make it pretty subtle, so that you know you might want to leave that on if you if you're having a hard time hitting the notes. People even use it when they're really tired. Yeah. You know, you're just having an off night or whatever it is. You can put correction natural on, and nice. it'll just kind of guide you where you need to Bump go. Yeah, that little extra or yeah. down. <laughs> drone is uh, drone. So I you <laughs> and jumps all over the place. So good times on that one. <laughs> Uh, the gender one you can oh, actually well, take and adjust these gender um, controls here, and you can. Hey, don't you wish you sounded like a man? I do. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is so much fun. So what happens with these ones is it actually doesn't pitch shift your voice; it only makes you sound more or less male or female. Ah, so it doesn't so it's change not the pitch. Yeah, it's not changing the pitch, right? Cool. So it's just changing the way you sound. That's you can awesome. you can shift as well, so it's always changing the pitch. Always changing the pitch. And the weird thing is that sounds like a harmony, but if you... Because um, you can hear my actual Exactly, voice. yeah, because I can but hear you from club, right here, but out there they'd only right. hear it higher, which is a bit weird. It's hard <laughs> to sing to, but it's kind of fun to mess around with. Nice. So we'll turn that off for now and check out Transducer. Oh, damn. So this is like megaphones and stuff. That's sort of the transducer. Any distortions? Hey. So Let's go. Let's all party now. You wanna rock? Right. It's cool. <laughs> so we got radio. I'm ad libbing. Sounds more like a oh, like an AM radio kind of sound. You think it's cool? To little come telephone. Down, honey. <laughs> overdrive. So this is more like a guitar pedal kind of sound, where it's really blown up. You peek me out, yeah. So one of the things, if you notice, it, sing sing sort of like uh, pretty quietly. You hear how it cuts in and out like that? Right, yes. sort of goes away. Okay, what that is, it's called the gate. So there's an, a noise gate and essentially how it works is it looks for a certain level of input and below that level, it just turns off. Oh. The, the transducers are pretty prone to feedback. It's like if you were to take a megaphone and stick it up in front of a microphone, right. all of a sudden you get and it goes all crazy. So what we've done is we've, we've set it up so that the gate says, hey, this level's pretty low. I'm just gonna turn off right now and I'm not gonna make any noise at all so oh. that we don't feedback. But you might run into a situation like you're in where you're like, oh, it, it's kind of coming and going and it's not working right. Any of these effects, if, they've, if they have one, you can press and hold and get to an advanced menu. Oh. So you can experiment with every, every effect page that you're on. If you press and hold and something changes, then it's got some advanced controls. So in this particular one, you can see there's a gate threshold here. So, so what we would do is we would lower the gate threshold. So you think it's too late. And now you notice that it's coming in on just your, like on the quietest stuff. And we could turn it up, and if you keep singing like that. See, now it starts cutting in and out again, and we go, oh, we've gone too far. And we could back it back down again, and find just that point that you can Sweet. always have that effect on there. So if um, I know I'm doing a tune that I'm like really chill on, but I want that peaked out kind of effect, then I can go Exactly, it yeah. So that'd be time. something you do ahead of time. You know, you kind of mess around with it. And it might be something you do at a gig too, where you're like, ooh, this is feeding back. I'm gonna go turn that, that threshold right. up and make it so that I have to sing louder in order to get that effect to come right. through. Um, and, and you even get to the point sometimes where if it's feeding back, you might actually want to like be quite forceful with it and have the gate set pretty high so that you can just, you know, go, hey, and it's gonna I know I can really through. belt her and not worry. Exactly, about it. yeah. Um, there's a couple other settings in here, the gain, um, is sort of the, the it's the equivalent of the gain knob on an actual megaphone itself, you know, so it'd be like ah. the, the level of, of distortion that happens. Right. And then the routing here is kind of neat. Um, it can go to the output or it can go to the effects. And what that means, we can turn it to effects real quick and we'll do a little example here. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna turn on delay. Oops. And what we'll see, I'm gonna turn some of these things off along the way here so we just only hear the delay. 
But what we can do is we turn on delay, and if you just go hey, 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 hey. what's happening is the when it's set to effects in transducer like that, uh -huh. the the uh, transducer is only happening to the delay parts. So you get a, a clean like you going hey, and then it turns into hey, oh, hey, hey afterwards wow, and sounds like the transducer. That's cool. So yeah, it would it would work like that on um, the harmony voices and stuff. Would also have some of those things on it. So it's pretty cool. You can you can sort of set it up and say hey, do I want this thing to be really obvious and happening all the time like I'm talking through a megaphone? Or just in those little inflections. Yeah, because you hear it on the, on records a lot, right? Where they'll they'll right. do a delay and it's the delay that sounds like the telephone or sounds like you know the megaphone. And so that's a good Crazy. way to, to get that effect to go. Yeah. So you could really duplicate your. Per, your your produced tracks live yeah, so effectively absolutely. with all of this stuff because in a tune I might have something like that a radio filter on a back backing track or something exactly and so what you'd want it to just have those delay taps have that filter on it and not right. necessarily have it all over your voice right. all the time yeah it's a great way to set nice. that up um, so we can look at some of the other advanced menus I know that there's one for delay here so you could set the tempo manually so oh. if you know the tempo of the song, right? Or the delay to be with you want the tempo. it to be timed with it, right? Yeah. And and if you're playing to to tracks or um, your drummer uses a click track or anything yeah. like that, and you know your tempo is going to be really solid the whole night, yeah. that's a great way of doing it. Um, the filter styles are just essentially the type of delay that it is. So this is emulating a digital delay unit. This is emulating a tape unit, um, analog unit, and then radio and like megaphone. So these ones can actually apply. Um, what would be a transducer style to it as well, but right within the delay. Whoa. So it's kind of you can do it kind of on on either side, depending on how you want to put the thing together. You guys uh, and there's a whole seriously bunch of thought of everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we try to do is think of enough stuff, but not so much that it's totally daunting, Overwhelming, right? Yeah. You could never go into this menu, and it wouldn't it wouldn't make you not have a really good sound. It just right. means that if you want to get in there and tweak, there's some stuff you can tweak right. on.